In the coming days, you will be able to see the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. The shower greets stargazers every year from mid-July to late August. Joining us now to talk about what you can expect to see is Dr. Matthew Whitehouse, the observatory manager with the South Carolina State Museum. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. It's great to be here. Well, first things first, let's just talk about what causes the Perseid meteor shower. So really any meteor shower is caused by the Earth uh, going into the debris, debris trail of a comet. Uh, so when that happens, uh, we tend to get an increased number of meteors. You might often think of those as shooting stars. Uh, coming into our atmosphere and burning up. So it's typical on any night to see a few random meteors an hour, but during the various meteor showers that happen throughout the year, uh, as we go through those uh, debris fields, we're actually going to see more like, in some cases, one to two meteors a minute. Uh, so that's really what causes any meteor shower, the, those debris trails from comets. Okay, so this year with the Perseid meteor shower, how many meteors per hour could we expect to see here during the peak? So this year we have a really kind of funky problem. Uh, we have a full moon the night of the peak. And because of that, that's actually going to reduce the number of uh, meteors that we can see per hour. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. I don't want to put a number on it because it really depends on where you are, what your conditions are like, what the light pollution level is like at your viewing location, um, what the sky is like. This is summer in the southeast. It could be kind of murky that night or completely cloudy. But because we have the moon in the way, that's actually going to reduce the number of meteors we can see. So this is not the best Perseid year. You know, you don't don't love to hear that, right? But of course, I'm sure a lot of folks will still want to get out and at least try, fingers crossed. Uh, what day is coming up this week? Are we expecting, of course, that uh, meteor shower to peak? So it's August 11th and 12th. So the night of the 11th through the 12th is the peak. Um, and the best time to go out is in the early morning, so midnight or after. Um, and that's really true for any meteor shower is that early morning time tends to be the best. And then uh, you want to look to the north. You need a clear northern horizon. You don't need any special equipment, but you do need that clear view to the north for the Perseids. If someone really wanted to try to get a good view, you know, without their eyes, do you recommend any kind of equipment if they were trying to do so? Or you really think that at this point, based on the full moon potentially happening the same night, it probably wouldn't make much of a difference? Yeah, so with a meteor shower, even if we didn't have a full moon causing all of that glare, uh, special equipment like the binoculars or telescope really don't help you um, because meteors move so fast that it's really impossible to catch them or track them in a telescope or binoculars. Some people do enjoy setting up cameras and taking long exposure photos of a chunk of the sky because then you can catch meteors coming through over the course of a few hours. But really, the things you think of like telescope, binoculars, not going to be so helpful. Uh, thank yep. you again, Dr. Whitehouse. And as a reminder, you can watch the peak of the Perseid meteor shower uh, this coming week on August 11th and August 12th.